Well, that's not good news, is it? That is not good news. This comes straight from Brady. Jason Momoa is no longer feeling too optimistic about playing Aquaman in the future. The actor is reprising his superhero role in Warner Bros. in the upcoming Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom, which might be Momoa's swan song as the character on the big screen. Momoa was cast as Aquaman in the DC Universe, playing the character in Justice League and Aquaman, but the property is now being rebooted by DC Studios, which is being run by James Gunn and Peter Safran. It says here, quote, I don't necessarily want it to be the end, but I don't think it's really like a choice, Momoa told Entertainment Tonight about his future as Aquaman. Now listen, I personally like him as Aquaman. I think that Zach, uh, even though I haven't asked him this, I think that he cast Momoa as Aquaman because of all the years of making fun of Aquaman for, you know, having the power to talk to fish and, you know, what are you going to do over there in the water? I'm on land. You know what I mean? Like that type of stuff, the family guy jokes and everything. Now, I personally never thought that Aquaman was a bum. I already knew how powerful he was, but I, I mean, people make their jokes. So I think when you cast a dude bro like him with the beard and the long hair and the muscles and the deep voice, it, it works to toughen the character up and say, hey, I'm not the one that you've been making fun of all these years. Now, I think even when he was cast, people were saying that he looked like Lobo. And he should have been Lobo. And uh, I don't have a problem with that either. I mean, he falls right into the mold of Lobo. So um, that's what they're saying. But uh, let me see. You know, let's continue here. <laughs> Momoa noted that Gunn and Saffron want to start their own new thing up. Adding, the truth is, truth of it is, I mean, the audience loves Aquaman in the Lost Kingdom. Uh, if the audience loves the movie, then there's a possibility. But right now, I'm like, it's not looking too good. Well, I know things ain't been tracking too well for it, but the trailers look good. I'm ready to see it. I'm ready to like it. I'm ready to love it. I bought it in 3D, and I loved watching it. Just as almost as much as I loved watching it in the theater in my own home theater. You know, my, my favorite part is when you're going down in a trench and things. I love that, man. I love that part. Um, I love this character and I would want to play it for a long time, Momoa continued. I kind of see where I want to go uh, and even in the next 10 years or so, like there's a lot of cool things they can do and I do enjoy the role and the world. So, I mean, it just comes down to if people love it. Well, if we want more of him, then I think that's what we need. We need to go go out and support it. But hopefully we like it because we can't support something we don't like, correct? You know. Um, Momoa confirmed to Variety, Variety at the Sundance Film Festival in January that he met with Gunn and Saffron soon after they took over DC Studios in 2022. Rumors have circulated that Momoa might be ditching Aquaman and playing a different superhero, Lobo, in the new DC Universe. Momoa would not confirm anything at the time, but he did tease there might be another character coming from him down the line at DC. Well, that's probably it. I mean, I could have swore, didn't they say it came from, uh, didn't it come from Gunn's mouth? That they cast him as Lobo. The majority of actors who led Snyder's DC Universe alongside Momoa have been dropped, which is one reason Momoa might be thinking conservatively about Aquaman's future. Well, if that thing is true about the whole money thing, then he's probably not coming back. Henry Cavill's tenure as Superman is over, 
as Gunn is relaunching his DC Universe with a new Superman featuring David Cornsweet as the Man of Steel. Gunn and Saffron are also not developing a Wonder Woman 3, likely ending Gal Gadot's time wielding the Lasso of Truth. Momoa's Aquaman was not included in the first round of new DC Universe titles that Gunn and Saffron revealed in January. Back in March, Momoa appeared more optimistic about his Aquaman future when he told Total Film Magazine, I absolutely think Aquaman will be involved in the DCU. It's on, bro. There's no longer, uh, there's no one bigger than Aquaman. <laughs> well, that's false, but, <laughs> but also I hope people are excited to see the new one. It's fun. I really enjoy doing, maybe he said that because out of all of them, didn't he do a billion? His did a billion, right? Maybe that's why he said it. There's some really fun stuff with Patrick Wilson. I really adore him, and we had a great time working together. It's like we're brothers. There's a lot of cool stuff happening in this one. Well, I hope I enjoy it. I hope I enjoy it. I enjoyed the first one. And it is what it is. Um, I guess if they wanted to, if it does well, then I guess they could bring him back for a third while having him play Lobo in a different universe. Maybe that would work. But you do that. You got people in two different universes. People are going to be like, yo, well, if you run in two different universes, hashtag restore the Snyderverse. Hashtag restore the Snyderverse anyway. That's right. Lend the rights, sell the rights, make the rights rentable to Netflix, sell partial rights for a partial amount of time to Zach so he can finish his glorious Glorious vision. 10 million subscribers.